Hola amigos, welkom in een nieuwe aflevering van Minecraft Story Mode. We gaan verder met episode number 4. Uh, eens kijken. Even een review van de vorige Previously episode. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Ja. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, Encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Ah. And back to the game, I guess. Oké, we gaan choose. Uh, Alright, uh, jongens, ik vergeet het bijna altijd te zeggen uh, in het begin. Vergeet niet te abonneren. En als je geabonneerd bent, vergeet niet op het klokje te drukken. Zodat je een notificatie van me krijgt als er een nieuwe aflevering is van bijvoorbeeld Minecraft Story. <laughs> Don't worry everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Pow. Only, uh, oh. Oh, oh, my God, this is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just mm. some llama. Luna's back there all alone, probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Hope so. The following kid is the last half leaving. What the hell? Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. I haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. Mm. This shadow. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. Mm. What did you see? This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... So slow. Awful. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. Oh shit. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. 
happened was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Ah! Uh, e -E. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Whoa. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. asking for me cuz cuz I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state of the art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home no tell me more what what happened to it wow you kind of oversold this one this place looks terrible i <laughs> I didn't know. It was beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um, it made him think of Luna. Nermi, no. Come on, pal. Uh, no. I know it's kind of hard to think about, but Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? Look at this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Because she's <laughs> any more melodramatic? <laughs> wow. Come on, guys, be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last. Things still whole. There's no hope for this place. 
I'll never get it back now. He made sure. Hmm. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the Advent for what he did. Uh, avenge your... your... your bed. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Mmm. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. Mm -hmm. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. All right. Keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Ah! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Red Keep, here we come! Uh, Jesse? Uh, no, who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. God damn it. It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! <laughs> Jack! I'm okay! No! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> yeah, we're kinda stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> maybe. What? Maybe. Depends, really. What? Yeah, depends. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? 
We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? Uh, we are going to We're here that. to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Yeah. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your sword? Right. Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. Ooh. No deal! Yeah, well that's... disappointing. <sighs> yeah. We'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies. World this dark will snuff out a life like you real fast. Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <gasps> Move out, ya stink bags! Jack! Fuck. So sorry, this is all my fault if I hadn't. No, Jesse, this isn't on you. You said it was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. <coughs> I'm sorry, Nurm. Come on. Yes, this is how they keep the mobs out. Feel better to me. Strangers. Strangers, Vinta. What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not going to hurt you. I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. 
Pinta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. Binta. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me, this is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. God damn it. And hello. Useful. Nice. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. I'm just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks. I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? Uh, he's being weird with me. <laughs> like he thinks I'm still. still with the admin or something. You know how Radar can get. He's just overreacting. He'll get over it. Eventually. I hope so. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Right. We're gonna be approaching my mark. Can't. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Sure. Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Right. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away, nice and non-threatening. Like water, 
in a bucket, ha! Becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Ah, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> Wait. No, ain't you. I can definitely use these. Can we order more of so? Now we can just put them in norm. I know you miss him. Oh. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. It's well, a blue. <laughs> I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done! Prompt like! I'm on a roll! And this one's almost finished! You got it. Alright, time to make a painting. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. All done. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> what? You got this worth it. Fred, huh? I guess. You are wow, you are really cute. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Go get it. Serious fetch artist. Now it's my bone, but <laughs> ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, I'm I ready. Can. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather. For our competition begin Wait, now. <laughs> Gather round, everyone. 
Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend. May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Oh, uh, boy. Uh... And then a roar which in the rope. Voila. It's perfect. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Jesse. It's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. His Though, face. I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. God damn it. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, oh, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Ah, lapis. On, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means. But he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. God damn it. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> Nugget. Fred's pet was a little guy named Nugget. Sadly, no. That is not correct. Nugget oh. was his horse. This round goes to Kent. Oh. Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Jesse, this is your last chance to steal victory. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're 
wrong. It's Birch. Birch. It's Birch. You, uh, yes, yes. Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right, Jesse won. <laughs> Way to go, Jesse. Congratulations. That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true what? mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love, I love them. Thank you. Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm. Huh, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? She was upset about the bed. Look at. Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. Okay, Jimpo. No one will mind if I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is it. Just neat. The life of a cog and other existential builder crises. Okay, maybe there's a clue in here. When one becomes one with building, one's heart will follow the path of, uh, no. <laughs> this book, read. Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him and didn't let him play their Enderman games. Okay, the bag of the fuming. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Unix, hey. Nothing in here now, except that, that button. button. Push it. It's a... Whoa, secret room. Thank There's you. gotta be something down here. What about that cabbage? Me? This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Hmm. What is that face? Not a book. Read it. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. It's in that book. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Hmm. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home. Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Maybe the map? Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... 
There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well... Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? Well, no. I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. Mm. And, and if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You might be safer down here for the time being. The admin has decided to take an interest in our world. Then we'll help you. We can't stay down here. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. That's You're why we need. You're welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so. Hey. Uh, wait, what? I, I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nerm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. Mm. Hey. Nerm, you can't stay. We need you with us. Hey. I think he said Jack needs him more. Hey. Hey. We understand, Nerm. Hey. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. Right? Oh yeah, boy. Radar. Ha! Told ya! Oh, well, you were the one who was totally obsessed with Jack! 
try. I'm so Got him. sorry. So, uh, what's the compass say? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. Uh, rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? Not good. What the? Bomb. One person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. Ivor, he I claimed he was a ninja master. A practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. Ivor! He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes! Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors. All as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, Strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find God my damn way it. to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. <laughs> oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Uh, hang on, you tried to kill me. Ah, uh, yes! That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Oh, that is such a lie. Just thinking about the admin, running around, pretending to be me, makes me sick. Yes, I would be frustrated too. Especially seeing how convincing the admin's disguise is. Jesse, aka the admin, Gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. 
Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Hmm. Yeah. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, mm. but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> <laughs> you saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Right. Yeah, Romeo Yard. <sighs> Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Whoa, let's cool it on the army. We're all friends here. That is exactly what a non-friend would say. Yeah, non-friend. Ooh, I'm afraid you leave us no choice. I hey, got it. Army! You too, Jeff! <laughs> you too, Jeff. Take these invaders out! <laughs> <laughs> That's weird! It's not weird. The army just just uh, took a power nap! Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard. Is that right an audio here. disc? Was that an audio disc? <laughs> You're an audio disc. Yeah, <laughs> what, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapets? <laughs> Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? I can We're beat doing his you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. 
Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! A llama? Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Alright. Again. What gaan we this bouwen? But wait, um, perfect. Oh, wow, that will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes, wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not. Alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Tooth chipper of the dented tincture. I named this. Take the sports. What a what a bamboo. Oh, good luck. Oh, you poor doomed souls. Be 
pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. I wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? All right, and put up him. Here we go. Welcome, Challenges, Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo. How? The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> Congratulations, challengers! Stage one of six hundred <laughs> complete. Uh, what? Stage <laughs> two and begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. E -e. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! And two, two, E. Nice shooting, Jesse. E. Come on, come on, come on! Why don't you come with the instructions? <laughs> no one is smiling. I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water, too. Radar and I will be the big girl. Fine! Ik raak hem niet op. Ah.
the sides. Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Uh. Just need four sand blocks, quickly. Oké, volgende keer kijk maar naar me eerst. Come on! Over here, Magma Face! How's that TNT looking? We can't do this forever. How am I supposed to like this thing? That might work. Take a look around. Be about. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. Bad 
threat. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Okay, let's open it. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? N n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Hmm. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Okay, I get it. Uh, red is weapon, blue is book. Blue for Fred. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Red for Romeo. Purple for Zara. Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just potato. Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato four five one. It's impossible. Take this word of passage and use it at the 
primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I do kind of feel like you'd get mad if I didn't want to adventure anymore. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to lose you. And that doesn't make it okay. I, I know that. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. All right. Whoa, she did it. This is it then. It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. It's firework. doing the portal is hidden for a reason to keep things away we're still missing nerm right that won't be a burden sounding pretty adminish there zara the weapon is what we need not bodies to throw at the problem people just complicate things make everything messy inefficient sure now you clam up as Damn you can it. see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Mm. 
Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah! Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? God damn it! Sure to make building fun. 
fun. Alright. And power! Saved him. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. said. That was not a quality three-point landing. Sorry, Nermi. <laughs> Is everyone all right? We're it's back. the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. It's the end. No. Is kijk naar wie alle de opties die gepakt. Dus we hebben het meeste ook geen deal gesloten, gewonnen. 
Right. Uh, jongens, vergeet niet te abonneren. En als je geabonneerd hebt, vergeet ook niet op uh, de video te liken. Ik was even mijn ding kwijt. En dan zie ik jullie de volgende keer weer bij een nieuwe aflevering van Minecraft Story Mode. Jongens, later. It's a lonely road for a hero. The road is a bittersweet friend. For the road is cold and it's hollow. But it's all you'll have left in the end. Sure there is glory in my tragic backstory. But that is not why I'm small. For nothing Shoulders like regrets, big as boulders, as sure as the grief takes its toll. I'm thankful my arms are so ripped, or I'd been crushed from the start. And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart. My friends' faces, they'll never leave me So I wrote them this sad serenade For the curse of a memory that's perfect Is that those faces, they'll never fade <laughs> That's <in> my eye <clears throat> It's a lonely road for a hero But I won't be alone at its end For I will wait in the shallows Until we meet again Until we meet again. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? 